welcome back to the channel this week. This week's episode is all about that wonderful film simulation from Fujifilm Classic Chrome and all the various film recipes that I've been trying out, trying to get that perfect one. And I'm gonna tell you what my favorite is. So let's get to those recipes right now. Okay, so here is the straight Classic Chrome simulation. You can tell here that our uh, th this is a harsh light situation, early morning, but you can see that the the shadow detail is there, but it's you know it's 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 pretty dark. Now what I've done is is with my first everyday Classic Chrome uh, recipe, what I've done is is I've opened up the shadows a little bit and I've actually warmed up the scene just a very slight bit. And uh, here is the simulation uh, recipe right here. So here are the two of them side by side. The classic chrome is always going to be on the left. This is the straight up classic chrome sim film simulation. On the right is going to be my uh, recipe. This is the first recipe that I played with, and that is the um, everyday classic chrome that is what I've called it. And I'm going to blow these up side by side just so that we can really tell. Now you can really see here the difference between the two. And I've opened up the shadows here, and you can see that I've warmed up the scene just a little bit. You can see on his face here, the classic chrome simulations on the left and the recipes on the right. We've got everyday classic chrome on the right. And I gotta tell you that um, for me, this is much more pleasing than our straight one, straight out of the camera. Now I'm gonna show you another couple of recipes that I've developed. One is called uh, Everyday Classic Chrome 2, where I've, I haven't warmed up the scene at all, and I've opened up the shadows even more. Okay, so here is the Everyday Classic Chrome 2. So as you can see, I've opened up the shadows even more, which makes it even more pleasing and a little less dramatic maybe but it makes the image look a little bit better but i've done no warming up of the scene at all now the next one i'm going to show you is uh, my uh, classic chrome everyday classic chrome warmer okay here we go you can see on the left is a straight classic chrome and on the right hand side we have everyday classic chrome warmer and what i've done here is is i have uh, added just a, a a plus two of red and a minus one of blue okay so let's look at some more images here with our simulation recipes so always on the left you're just going to have straight classic chrome with no adjustments at all and this first one is with my uh, everyday classic chrome and you can see that uh, we've opened up the shadows a little bit and we made it just a little bit warmer. And uh, let's see if we can go over here and we can tell. Now you can see the color on her jacket has changed just a little bit, but we've got a nice opening of the shadows here. And maybe her face is just a little bit warmer. And this is a little bit more normal looking, I would think. So you can tell that in different situations, these things change. Um, but uh, we know that the eye is drawn towards uh, bright things and warmer colors. So let's uh, let's look at a couple of more of these uh, recipes. Okay, this is uh, straight classic chrome on the left and everyday classic chrome two on the right. Now what I've done here is is with this one, there is an opening up more of the shadows and we have absolutely nothing done with the white balance color shift at all and you can still tell that it looks a little bit warmer but it's it, for no other reason other than it's uh, um, uh, a little bit opened up more now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our everyday classic chrome warmer and you can see that it's even more warmer looking and you can tell the left on the left the face looks a little bit more normal uh, but our colors are a little bit more vibrant here in this warmer version of it. Okay, let's look at this last image here. This is the last image, and this is in uh, bright sunlight, and this is the straight classic chrome. 
And this is uh, my everyday classic chrome on the right. Now you can tell that they are, uh, the one on the right is a little bit more warm and our, our eyes are drawn more to that than we are to the one on the left because of the warmer colors. And um, we've opened up the shadows just a little bit more. Um, you can't really tell with this one. Uh, let's see if we can. You can tell right here that the shadows were opened up a little bit more. So this is everyday classic chrome on the right and straight classic chrome on the left. All right, so let's look at um, everyday classic chrome 2, which is right here. And this is with no color adjustment at all. It's just with it opened up a little bit more. Let's blow it up a little bit more. You can see that our shadows are opened up even more here. And that is actually maybe even brighten the colors up a little bit more too. And this last one here is um, oops. And this last one here is uh, classic chrome warmer everyday classic chrome warmer and you can tell that it is even more warm and it still has the same amount of uh, shadow detail that the other one did and you can see how much flatter it looks on the left which is a uh, classic chrome is a flatter uh, profile and uh, this recipe on the right makes it a little bit better so what we've done is we've improved upon I think I've improved upon the classic chrome simulation a little bit more with these various versions of it and um, I've got to tell you the, the the one that I use the most for all my news work is I use classic chrome with plus two color uh, and I got to tell you it works great but um, uh, what I've done here is is I've wanted to open up the shadows a little bit because I tend to you know I, I process my images in in Photoshop for the paper and I always end up opening up the shadows a little bit so so what I would do is I would I'm, I'm gonna start using the one on the right for all my everyday work because of the fact that it's opened up more and uh, it's maybe a little bit warmer here and I'm gonna have to take the clarity out because like I said it slows the camera down so thanks for dropping by the channel this week we had a great time going over my favorite film simulation and that is classic chrome it's my favorite one that I use all the time and I like to tweak it here and there and to get different looks and I think we've done that in this video. So if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe and share and comment. All that would be awesome. <clears throat> and check out KPNPhototours.com. We've got some great tours coming up in the fall. So that's it for this week. And remember, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it. And we'll catch you next time.